Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra. Okay, so let's get started with this here. So the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra says uh, that a polynomial that has degree n, uh, where n is greater than zero, has n solutions. And so some of the roots may be repeating roots. And so like, um, uh, you know, like if you had x minus 1 squared, well, uh, 1 would be a root, and then again, 1 would be a root because you have the quantity x minus 1 squared. Some may be imaginary, but uh, whatever the degree is, that's how many roots there's going to be, okay? So so how many solutions, or what they call them sometimes zeros, or sometimes they call them roots, they're all the same thing, solutions, roots, zeros, does each have, okay? So here we have a, a fourth degree equation, so there's four uh, solutions here or zeros or roots here there's three because it's the same as the degree on there okay easy enough right okay so um, so let's find all the zeros of the polynomial function okay here we go so so uh, we get this polynomial function and from the last lesson the rational roots theorem we take factors of the right number over factors of the left number so factors of nine are one three and nine uh, factors of, uh, of this number here is one so uh, we do 1 over 1, 3 over 1, 9 over 1, and so let's try 1 to see if it works. So we're going to synthetically divide, and I don't see any zeros in there. Okay, so when we synthetically divide, we find out that we don't get 0 as a root, so we got to keep going. Let's try negative 1. Okay, so there's a 0 right there, so negative 1 is a root okay or zero okay so now we're going to solve this condensed quadratic equation so it's just like the last lesson you guys so here x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals zero so this is a perfect square trinomial factors of 9 that add to 6 or 3 and 3 so that factors to x plus 3 squared so we get another root uh, negative 3 and it's called a double root because it happens two times x plus 3 squared is x plus 3 x plus 3 so when we set this equal to 0, we get negative 3. When we set this equal to 0, we get negative 3. So that's why it's called a double root. Sometimes we get a triple root. Okay, and we abbreviate double root as dr. Okay, so the solutions are, don't forget about uh, this one right here, negative 1 and then negative 3 is a double root. Okay, so here's two of them, two, uh, two solutions. Here's one solution, so there's three solutions, and it's a cubic, so there were three solutions. I think you guys already knew that already. So here, this one's going to give us uh, five solutions right here. Now, they might not all be real. Um, uh, but they, but there's at least five solutions. Okay, so factors of six are one, two, three, and six. Factors of one are just one. So we're going to do one over one, two over one, three over one, six over one, and plus or minus all of those, okay, from the last lesson, okay? So here we go. Now, and I'm just going to save time. I'm only going to divide the ones that really are zero. So we're not going to do the trial and errors here. Otherwise, it, it'd take me too long in this lesson. So, all right, so the first um, um, uh, root or zero, is 1. 1 goes in there. So this starts with a fifth root equation. So this is our condensed fourth root equation. So we're going to work with this one right here. Okay, and it, uh, one might be a double root, so uh, let's try one again to see if it's a double root, and, and it is a double root. So what happens is, is now this is a fifth root, so this is a fourth root, so this is going to be a cube root right here. So i got to keep dividing, you guys, okay? And then so, um, uh, that's what I just said right there. So now the next uh, zero that we get is, I think it's two or negative two, it's negative two, okay? So if this is my fifth root right here, and this is my condensed fourth root this is my cube root here's my square root or my square this is my quadratic my squared term x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0 now we can solve that one um, so this one's a nice one to complete the square with because that's a 1 this doesn't factor I know you think it does factors of negative 3 add to negative 2 but factors of positive 3 don't uh, 3 is either uh, 3 times 1 or negative 3 times negative 1, and neither one of those pairs adds to negative 2. So let's complete the square with this guy. So we're going to add that 3 to both sides, and then we take half of this number squared. So we're going to do a plus 1 here and a plus 1 here, okay? And then now that this side factors to uh, x minus 1 squared, this side is negative 2. And so we get uh, x minus 1 squared equals negative 2. Square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. Pull the i out and add 1 to both sides. And don't forget about the other roots that we had. We got uh, this was a root, and both of these were roots, so 1 was a double root. And so we get uh, plus 1 over here. We get 1 plus or minus i root 2.
Okay, so there's five solutions right there. It was a fit through equation. All right, so the complex and irrational conjugate theorems, and you're thinking, what? That just, it's real easy, you guys. It just says if a plus bi is a root, then so is a minus bi. So just think in the quadratic equation, that plus or minus stuff. So it's plus this one and minus this one. So if you have um, uh, uh, conjugates of each other, then uh, if one's a root, then the other one's a root. And same with the, the irrational ones, you guys. If a plus square root of b is a root, so is a minus the square root of b. Okay. All right, so let's write a polynomial function of least degree that has uh, rational coefficients. That just means fractional coefficients. And a leading coefficient of 1. That just means we want to start it off with like an x to the fifth plus whatever x squared. So the leading coefficient is that first coefficient and the given zeros. And I know you're thinking, what the heck is that? Okay, so so here we have, whoops, this one's not supposed to be here right here. This this guy should be hiding. Let me uh, hide that guy right here. This I think that one's not there. So it starts with 2. So 2 is a root and negative 2 minus uh, 5i. Well, if, if negative 2 minus 5i is a root, well, this says up here that the conjugate is also a root. So negative 2 plus 5i is also a root, okay? Okay, so we have three roots, so it's going to be some cubic equation. 2 is a root, and this is a root, and this is a root. Well, remember back in Algebra 1, you guys, let's just say we had this in Algebra 1. x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Uh, factors of 12 that add to negative 7 are negative 4 and negative 3. And then so we get the zeros of when we set this equal to 0, x equals 4 and x equals 3. So what we're going to do is these are the roots right here, or these are the zeros, so we're going to work backwards. So going backwards, if these are the zeros, then these are the factors. And if these are the factors, then this is the equation right here. Okay, so this is what it's asking for. We're just going to go backwards. They give us the roots. So we're going to write them as factors, x minus each of those roots. And then we're going to foil all that mess out and get our equation right here. Okay, so let's go back to this right here. So if uh, this is a root, this is a root, and this is a root, or, or a zero right here, then x minus 2 is a factor. x minus this uh, quantity here is a factor. x minus this quantity here is a factor. So that's going to give us our equation right there. So, so here was that x minus 4, x minus 3 in that last part. Here's the x minus this root. Here's the x minus this root. And then here's the x minus this root. Okay, equation. So equals 0 right there. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, take these guys and clean that up right there. Okay, so we're going to distribute that negative through. So that's all I did right there. So a negative times a negative is a positive 2, and this negative negative 5i is plus 5i. Okay, here's a, a plus 2, and then uh, negative 5i is negative 5i. Okay, now we're going to foil these two guys, this trinomial times this trinomial right here. Okay, so that's it right there. So you can see I did this in, in uh, black, blue, and sort of goldy right here. Okay, so here's the black going through. Okay, that x, I just distributed this x times x, x times 2, x times negative 5i. So there it is right there. Okay, now let's do the blue, the blue 2. So 2 times x, 2 times 2, and 2 times negative 5i. That gives us that mess right there. And then let's do the gold. 5i times x, 5i times 2, 5i times negative 5i, and that gives us that right there. I hope you can see that. If you're colorblind, my son has a hard time seeing that right there. Okay, and then if we clean that up, Things cancel out. Don't forget this negative 25i squared. i squared is negative 1, so negative 25i squared becomes plus 25. And then this plus 25 with this plus 4 gives us a plus 9. The negative 5i uh, x and the positive 5i x and the negative 10i and the positive 10i, they cancel out. They will always cancel out. And then we're left with, um, here's 2x, here's 2x is 4x. So this stuff right here is going to be exchanged for this stuff right here. And then we got it times the x minus 2 right there. Okay, so now we have that. Now we're going to multiply the blue guy times the red guy. Okay, so there we are. So I get to that right there. And then we just got to clean it up, you guys. Combine like terms. And there's our equation. Isn't that fun? Let's try it again with some uh, irrational. So 4 is a root, and 1 plus root 5 is a root. Well, if 1 plus root 5 is a root, so is 1 minus root 5. So 
we do x minus this root, x minus this root, and x minus the conjugate right there, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to distribute this negative through right there, distribute the negative through, okay? Your book does this a little bit different, and it just seemed a little bit funky to me, so I, I wasn't comfortable trying to, to uh, demonstrate that in my class. So, so just foil it out. Everything in one parenthesis times everything in the other parenthesis. So here's this right here, and I did that right there, so you can check it all out. I'm just going to kind of briefly go through it, save time, okay? And then uh, um, uh, things cancel out, and we're left with x squared minus 2x minus 4. Now that's going to be multiplied with this x minus 4, and we're going to make it equal to 0, and bing, bang, boom, and we're going to get uh, that right there and combine like terms and get that for your answer. All right, if you guys are in my class, uh, that would be your homework assignment. Take care.